Hello Internet, welcome to the Four Post Bed. Do you know what? It's absolutely bloody freezing in the United Kingdom at the moment. So I'm going to get out the velvet swags today for the four poster. I changed them to the summer ones, which are white and you sort of see through. And um, it offers absolutely no uh, no protection from the British elements. And it's ridiculous because it's only August. It's not even August, is it? We're still in July. And we've had about a week of sun. While the rest of Europe burned, we were in rain and wind. Absolutely shocking. Absolutely shocking. Um, so, yes, I'm, pre- I'm prepping for winter again. Now, in other news, I have launched my Marchioness of Dorchester exclusive podcast called Dr Sensuality, which is over on my other platform. So you'll get that on Spreaker. Um, and you'll probably get it you know, different places, I imagine, than than this one. So this one's still I serve Lan. However, I am going to share the erotic poems with you because, do you know what? It's who I am now. I'm, I've come out as the Marchioness at last and I write fruit poetry and I feel like I should share it with the world. Um, now, what else is new? The bra. Guys, the bra. So I launched the bra yesterday, I popped it on my site And today I have to, because I've promised myself and the world, model it. Because I couldn't be bothered yesterday. I was so exhausted just doing the photography for the shop, you know, the shop images. Today I need to do loads of selfies. And I was just lying there and I was thinking, you know, what's really good about the bra? Well, the really good thing is that it looks like you're not wearing a bra. So you can see, you can see your nipples through your clothing but actually it's just a daisy and I thought I need to get the public you know really into this daisy they need to bond with the daisy um so I'm going to do a wet (laughs) t-shirt I'm going to I'm going to get in a bath guys I'm going to get in a bath I'm going to put on full makeup I I think I'll go red lipstick I'll go the whole hog but not very often I put red lipstick on these days but I'm going to um, so the Jezebel, the inner Jezebel is going to come out and I'm going to sex up my new bra completely f- with full daisies showing through the wet T-shirt. I thought, yes, this is the answer. And as far as I know, they won't ban me on my Insta by, for, for daisies. Of course, one doesn't know because the the wonderful thing, was it wonderful? It's probably not wonderful, actually. The thing with modernity and the internet and the way that men are specifically and advertisers respond to it is that anything can be eroticized even the humble eggplant do you remember when i think they banned it did they not the aubergine the purple aubergine it suddenly became used as a sexual icon um or or image or logo and i think they i think they did ban it so I may get my daisy banned. (laughs) The banning of the daisy. What a great poem. Do you know what? You've just inspired me, guys. I think I do this poetry about fruit, but maybe I should start doing it about anything that's a euphemism. Do you see what I mean? So he touched the petals on my daisy. I'm going to do that. That's going to be today's poem. Because do you know what? I really like that. Or the other thing I could do, I guess, guys, was I could have floral poetry on one podcast and fruit poetry on another. <laughs> Who knows what I'll come up with next. Anyway, so this is the um, the run-up to the public photo shoot. You, you need to go to my site. I think what I'll do, a lot of them will be rather risque and I'll have to put them on OnlyFans. So the bra is going on OnlyFans today as well. It's going to have, Daisy Bra is going to have her own OnlyFans, which is rather exciting. Um, I have got one already, but I'll change the name. I, it's the Reverend, I believe, because as, of course we know that I'm ordained. I'm an ordained minister. I hope you know that. And I can, I am available actually for hire for last rites and also for a prayer a prayer written just for you guys prayers to apologize for your behavior prayers to apologize for the sexualization of my daisy etc 
Um, so pop along if you get a moment to my website and have a look. There's a page for the Dr. Sensuality um, podcast, which is not just the Marchioness of Dorchester reading poetry about fruit and petals, but also about um, literature and art, literature that was banned in the olden days. I say olden, I may have been alive. <laughs> no, I wasn't. You have to, you can only put public domain books up were, that were written, I think, before two, uh, 1907, 1927, maybe, but by now. It used to be 26, but well, I'm guessing it's gone up a year. It goes up every January. Um, and anything after that is not, is not public domain yet. So you've got to be very, very careful. But I'm what I'm trying to do is share with you guys public domain literature. And you can download it. It can be, you know, reproduce. Your, it's, it's a digital asset. And you can actually, if you're up for reselling, you can actually do that. Or the other thing, guys, you can do is you can use it to fatten up your YouTube if you're going down that route. I tried that route and I didn't really like it. However, today, today with my wet T-shirt granny, granny in a wet, in the daisy wet T-shirt. I'm on such a bloody roll today, guys. This is the way forward. Granny does wet T-shirt. I bet I get loads of hits on that. Because the world wants a curiosity. The world is not so interested in the ordinaire. The online world wants rid ridicule and extremes. I, mean, I have to balance somewhere in between. And the way I do that is by performing as in character. So the Marchioness of Dorchester is slightly ridiculous. And it really doesn't matter, you know, two hoots if she's ridiculed. Because it's not actually me. It's not the deep down me. The person that I really am, who nobody knows. Um, I do. I found myself uh, in about 50 no, 1950, I found myself in my 50s when I was about, when menopause, I discovered men, menopause, don't fear it and don't, don't worry about it, whether it's yours or someone else's, because really it's just a cloak coming off, but it's a slow cloak, it takes a few years, you know, you're not going to, it's not magically going to come off in a strip tease with Velcro, it's a slower drawing of the curtain and behind is the beautiful you. The you that you always wanted to be, but always covered up. It's a wonderful time, menopause. Anyway, that's enough. So I'll see you for wet t-shirt a bit later on, yeah? Au revoir.